Hello. So we'll be looking at um, this question. Remove link list element. So this is uh, five that we'll be dealing with today. And uh, this is a question as usual. I will give you time to go through. Let me make this full so we could just have everything. So I'll give you time as usual to go through the question. Pause this video and uh, go through the question. So then we'll continue when you're ready. Good, so I believe you've paused the video and gone through the question. Now, this is the example, first example we have. We have uh, another example two here. Then we have example three. Then if you look down here, I've, I've brought down the code area. This code area is actually, just copy this and then place it on your um, dev two, right? So this way you will write the question with me. So all of these, just for this code to run as i've always said right now you just copy this just copy this so i will drop the link of this i'll drop the link of this notion so that you could have access to it and then copy it and drop on your um dev tool so i will do that for all the questions i'll be dealing with right so you could just be able to run it and every one of them have their various um code area because the what actually run for this is not going to run for the exact you can see all of them are customized actually to be able to run every single um, challenge that comes here so let's look at this question again so we'll say this is um given the head of a single link list and an integer target so target has been given to us now remove all the nodes or the link list that have no dot value equal target so what they're trying to say here is every node that has a target they will give us the target like in this case now you can see the target is four so you see that the color of this changed the color of this node changed because these are the targets right we have two targets here which is this four and this four right so they said um remove all the nodes of the link list that have no dot value remember no dot value so this is no dot value. this is the node the node dot value is actually the value that is inside the node so node dot value is equal target target is four from here so this node of value is four this node of value is four so remove all of them and return the new head of the link list so we are returning the new head of the link list and when we return this new head what will give us what we will now have is so naturally we have this is the head so what, this head now gives us all the all the nodes inside the link list but now that we are removing so what, what they are telling us remove the node that has um that the node of value is equal target so every node that has four remove them and return the new node the new head so what we now have here is seven and then in our new head we have seven we have five as we have here we have two and four and nine so four these two four has been removed now if you look at here look at this mention the node with value four are removed that just it so uh, number two here the head here is the target as you can see look at it target is 10 so the head is the target and in such situation we we'll, we we'll have to remove this head and then return 11 to 13 as seen here so this has become the new head then this situation this example theory is very very weird you know but then it happens where um all the all the nodes in the link list happens to be the all the node of value in the link list happens to be equal to target so seven is a target and every value in this link list uh, happens to be seven in that case the head that will be returning is empty link list it's going to be empty right not no it's empty good so now how do we handle this so usually i will go through visually and then explain so let's look at this um question that we have here all over again and if you look at this now i think our first edge case here is what happens if node dot value is equal target like this example two it's looking at it this way it might look a little bit simple but then it seems a little bit complicated because if we remove this 10 here this node invariably we are shifting the head yeah so because this is the head so anything that makes us remove this 10 we make that we have to alter the sequence right and then shift the head then we'll now move the new the next head the head will not be equal to head dot next which is 11 so and we don't want to actually loop through this process because if we look through it that would be o of n if we look through it that's going to make our code lag when the 
number of first values or number of values that are equal to target are much in our link list. Now we just have one we have to, in a link list of um, four, ten, hundred. No, 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 no. It's okay. But then how, what now happens when the nodes that you have to remove in, increases? Remember that O of N, they are both proportional. So once the N increases, the time it will take to carry out, to run the operation will increase. So O of N will not actually be efficient here. So I think we should be looking at constant time, which is O of 1. And the best way is having a dummy node. So look at it as okay. Let's have a dummy node here. And um, the dummy node, okay. This is the dummy node. So I'll bring this dummy node. Right, let me remove this. Um, I need to ungroup, ungroup it. So, so that's because I have to explain step by step. This is the dummy node. Good. Now, I'll bring this domain node here, and then I will create an object on this domain node. So let me, I can be writing. So let's say, let domain equal to. Now, this object, I will say, nest is equal head. What I've literally just said here is, is domain, domain dot nest is equal head sorry so i'll say the dummy dot nest go head it means that this is pointing to head remember this is head this is tail so at this point i can just remove them because we already understand what head and tail is here so we have our dummy dot nest pointing to head now with this if this happens anything that happens to let's assume that the head is our target is equal to target let's remove this now Let's assume that head is target and we have this. Now, dummy is pointing to head. So we said dummy.net is equal to head. If we then remove this head, because this is a target and will be removed. If we then remove this head, what that means is that dummy will just be pointing to the next node, which is five. And then we've initialized dummy.net to point to head. Invariably, what that means is that five becomes the head. So you could see the logic. This is constant time. Instead of looping through O of N, you know, one step at a time and a lot of calculations and a lot of process will actually happen under the hood. But here, you see how simple and fast the process happens. So, if with the help of this dummy, I've just been able to remove the former head without even affecting the link list. Right, so because this dummy head, I've said, okay, dummy.net is pointing to head. Simple. So, whatever head that is being removed, even if we have like five nodes that I put to value, that the value are four, it will just keep removing them. Until we finish removing them, don't make it pointing to the next node. If we remove the next one, it points to the next one. Whatever it's pointing to is becomes the head. And at the end of the day, once we get to a node that the value is not target, that becomes our new head. Because dummy.nest is pointing to a head. So that is settled. So we'll bring this here. And let's bring our back our notes as it were. So we've been able to point and say, okay, let this be. Now, um, if you look at this node, this is dummy. And for the record, this dummy is not doing anything, literally, because it's not an ex existing node. These are these are the life node that I have here. So, but if you look at this dummy, you see that there's something different with this dummy and the normal nodes. And I actually want this dummy to behave like normal nodes. So if you look at it, you see that this normal node have values, but this are dummy does not have a value. So I'll just bring this um, value here and put here. So this value is actually um, inconsequential. It's not necessary, but you know, as a programmer is expedient, kind of, you we just have to put it. That makes your code cleaner. And then it makes anybody that sees your code understand that you really know what you are doing. So we we'll say this has a value of minus one. It doesn't really matter. Whether you put this value or you don't put it, it doesn't matter. But you can see now that all the nodes are actually carrying values. Okay. So, we will now have our current. We say we have our current. Let current, sorry. So, we say let current equal to head. So, we'll bring this current. We'll create this variable and say current is equal head. Perfect. 
Now, the question is, why are we bringing current? What is the work of this current? I think I've been able to explain the work of this dummy. Why we're bringing current is because we want to be able to traverse this list, this link list. You know that eventually we're going to look through everything to be able to remove, for us to be able to remove any node from here, we'll try and um, traverse the links. Yes. So for us to be able to traverse this list, I've brought in this pointer called the currents. Now I'm still going to bring, bring in another pointer that will keep track of everything that happens um, before current. And I've called that pointer previous. So I've said this pointer should point to dummy. So this point, this pointer actually keeps track of the node before dummy. Take note of that. So I will say let previous or which in this case pre this should be sorry equal to this should be equal to. So prev equal dummy. Perfect. Now we can now start our while loop. So we say why current exists. Why we have current? Why current is pointing to a node? What do we want to do? Now, the first thing is we're going to carry out a check here. So we're going to say if current dot value is equal target, if current dot value is equal target, remember our first edge case, the reason why we haven't bringing this dummy to start with. If current dot value is equal target, in this case now like this example two, current dot value is equal target. What do we want to do? So let's put that here. So we say if current dot value is equal target what do we want to achieve if this happens so if this happens we want this pointer to bypass to bypass tag this current let me make it so that we understand this should look at what we are saying now current this is head remember in this case, now four is our head, and four is equal to target. It's four we want to remove. Now we now said if current dot value is equal target, this previous node should bypass, just bypass this, and remove it. So we we'll say previous dot nest, previous dot nest should be equal to current dot nest. So we're going to put that we'll say. Um, in that case, previous.nest is equal current.nest. Now, if that does not happen, what happens? In a situation where that does not happen, where which is now exam our example one, the first node is not equal to target. This is how example one is. When it's not equal to target, what do we want to achieve? Let's bring everything as it were. Yeah, current was pointing to head and this. So when um, current of value is not equal, this condition was, was not met. Current of value is not equal to target. What do we want to achieve? We just say previous is equal current. So previous. Can now move to current then current current will now move to current.nest current will now move to current.nest let me increase this so when i say current is equal current.nest perfect now at the end of the day I want to return something here which is going to be dummy.nest because we've said let dummy.nest equal head. So, and literally we would have just returned head, but that will give us an error in situation like example 10, where head was initially pointing to 10, and this 10 now is a target. So we're going to have error. So for the fact now that we said, okay, let dummy.nest equal head, as we've done here, right? It means that whatsoever head we've got, Finally, with that, whatever existing head that we've got is what will be returned, not the supposed head in situation like this now, that the initial head has been removed. So we are not just going to return head, but then dummy.nest. That will give us the accurate head that we are looking for. So we'll say return dummy.head nest. 
and that is just it for this code i hope that i've been able to actually explain this for you to understand so let's go and test our code and see what we've been able to achieve so these are not shown and code area like i said earlier we can get our code um from here so we'll just copy this just copy this and bring it to our dev tool paste it so we have where we can drop our code so our code should be written here and now we've been able to um, write our code so let's now put copy this and drop here perfect so let's see what happens of course we're going to test all these scenarios that i'll be giving to us right so let's run this you see we've got exactly look at our code now we're giving four uh, sorry seven four five two nine four four is the target and then you see that it was removed four was removed all the four in the link list were removed so we've got back seven five two nine so um number two let's go back to the question number two gives us let me just so that we'll be able to yeah so number two gives us 10 10 11 12 and 13 so we'll remove these ones and the target is 10 so let's hit let me clean this now we've got 10 is removed we've got 11 12 and 13 so you see that the head was successfully removed without any issue and now the next one is where we have seven 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 right and then seven is the target sorry seven is the target so let's clear this and hit we've got an empty link list perfect so our code is running perfectly fine and if you follow me this far you've done a great job thank you and bye